<laughs> you are rotten. <laughs> uh, hey, honey. Hi, darling. Hi. All right, go have your shower. No. Go have your shower. No. Babe, go have your shower. I say go have your shower. I'm chatting with Dave. Come on now. If you don't have your shower, I will give you some. Oh, what? now that's a real threat. <laughs> go have your shower. Go have your shower first. First. Okay, okay first. Go. I'm coming out. Go. I'm coming out hot. <laughs> I'm coming out hot. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'm going to have my bath. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so lovely. <sighs> yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, hello, Amanda. Hi, Dad. Good evening. How are you? Oh yeah, I I know you are in Dubai. Look, I I want you to to cut short your honeymoon and come back to spring. Daddy, myself and Solomon, we are in Dubai for our honeymoon. I I I don't want to cut short our honeymoon trip. Solomon will not be happy about it. Yeah, if it's not important, I won't call you. It's very very important. It's a matter of um, you know you know state importance. Just come. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow. When you come, I will explain everything to you. It's something that is going to benefit both you and me. You know that. Yes. Okay. Good. Right. <coughs> Um, it's, it's daddy. Um, he wants me to come to Nigeria tomorrow. What? Why? What happened? Is everything okay? He, he didn't say. He just said it was important and it has to do with our state. Oh, come on, darling. We're here for our honeymoon. We don't need anybody disturbing us. But, babe, what are you saying? I'm saying that you are not going anywhere. Sorry? I cannot disobey my father. Do you know who my father is? Can you just stop that? I said you're not going anywhere. I already told him I'm coming. When he calls, I answer. I'm going. Really? Yes. Yes. What are you leaving for Nigeria? So you are still thinking of leaving me here? Then pack up, let's go. Why would I leave? We came to Dubai to spend two weeks of our honeymoon and this is just the fourth day and you want us to leave? But you, you, you know I have to go back to Nigeria. I cannot disobey my dad. <laughs> and you disobey me, your husband? Solomon, I don't have time or the energy for argument, okay? I have to go back. I am not arguing. I'm simply saying that there is a priority. We are here for our honeymoon. When my dad calls, I answer. Let's go. Are you coming? Well, sorry that you have to cut your honeymoon shot, but something bigger than honeymoon just came up. Dad, what is it? I want you to become the next governor of the state. What? Dad? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to worry yourself, my dear daughter. Mm -hmm. I am your father. I am the chairman of the party. I am the most influential actor in NPP. The governor and all the political players are all my boys. So I have the clout to make you the governor of the state. Yeah, yes, I, I know. I'm a member of the party too, but to become the next governor of this state, 
How is that going to happen? My dear daughter, don't worry how it is going to happen. I will make it happen. Like I told you, I am the most influential actor in our party now. And don't forget that your mother once lost the ambition of becoming the first female governor of the state. Yes. Before death, you know, took her from us. And your brother is not interested in politics. That's why he stayed put in Canada practicing his uh, profession. But you are interested, and I know you can do us proud. So you become the next governor. Daddy. Yes. I, I, I'm shocked. You don't have to be. So just get yourself together and um, leave the red for me. Hmm? That's why I invited you all the way down. So we can get the groundwork started. I know you wouldn't disappoint me. Oh, Dad, I would not disappoint you. And with you by my side, victory is assured. Bring it to my bedroom. Okay, okay ma. Uh, but ma, what? The goat milk pepper soup. Mm -hmm. Is this for you or you and Oga? Did you see my husband here? Ma, Oga is inside though. My husband is in, is in the bedroom? Yes, ma. When did he come back? About 20 minutes ago. Yes. Oh, okay, make the two, okay? Okay, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, honey. Hi. So, um, you came back. What else will I be doing in Dubai? Baby, I'm sorry. I promise I will make it up to you. Solomon, say something now. What do you want me to say? What exactly do you want me to say? I'm sorry, okay? What are you doing? Trading for it. As usual. Babe, talk to me now. The only thing I want to hear now is why your father interrupted our honeymoon. I am going to be the next governor of the state. What? He wants me to be the next governor of the state. Yes, come in. Hey. Davido. My main man. <laughs> what a surprise, nigga. I'm good, I'm good. I thought you were joking when you told me you were back in the country. Please sit, I wasn't joking at all. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't. Mm. Wow. So, um, how is your wife? She's, she's fine. So, how come a two-week surgeon now became five days and you're even back to work? So tell me, is your wife not mad at you for this decision? <laughs> My wife. My wife was actually the one who caught our honeymoon. Yes. She, she returned to Nigeria before me now. Yeah. What happened? Did you guys have any misunderstanding? Oh, no, not at all. The almighty Chief Pedro. Oh, oh, oh. Her father, oh. he wants her daughter to become the next governor of the state. What? Yes. So, Your Excellency, thank you for, you know, finding time to come to see me, even at short notice. Ah, uh, Chief Pedro, are you the one saying this? Why would I attend to your invitation? Have you forgotten? How you picked me up, made me a governor, even when I never dreamt of being one. Such debt, is it easy to repay? Hmm? You see, um, Chief Pedro, this office of the governor is open for you any day. Okay? And 
I will ever remain grateful for what you did for me. So calling me at any point is the least thing you can do for me. And I will always answer you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. You see, this is one of the qualities you have which is lacking in so many politicians of you know, present-day Nigeria. Loyalty. You never forgot who fed you. You know? Many persons out there will prefer to buy the finger that fed them. But no, that's not you. You're a very loyal person. Mm -hmm. Chief. Yes. You are my political godfather. And I will never try to do anything that will pinch a hole on that relationship. Because that will amount to committing a political suicide. <laughs> yes. I am the governor of this state. Mm. But you remain the biggest political shaker and mover of this state. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency, for that uh, trust. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, now to the reason why you are here. What would you like to become when you leave office, when your tenure elapses? You want to be a minister or a senator? Hmm. Chief Pedro. Well, if you ask me, I would like to be a senator after the expiration of my tenure. That settles it. You are going to be the senator representing our senatorial district. Chief Pedro, you are still doing and doing <laughs> and doing. You deserve it. Hey, one thing I'll promise you is that I will never let you down. Thank you. I will never disappoint you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mm. And there is uh, another thing. I want your support for something. Uh, what would that be, my Chief? Uh, I want uh, my daughter Amanda, to succeed you when your tenure elapses. Amanda? Yes. Um, Chief, is, is she rather not too young? Is she ripe for that position? And moreover, she's a woman. And you, you know how this thing works in... <laughs> this is not America, you know? Look, look I, 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 Your Excellency, I know who is... Uh, ripe and fit for the office when I see one. Just the way I saw you and picked you and made you a governor, even when you didn't believe you can make it. Yes. Amanda is one of the brightest brains we have around here. I know. Yes, and um, she will perform wonderfully well as the governor of the state. And don't forget she's been handling my conglomerate all these years and she's doing a very beautiful job at that. Chief, that's good to hear. Yes. But there is a problem. Problem? A little problem. Um, the deputy governor and one of the commissioners, Dr. Spiff, they are both interested in this position. <laughs> now, Your Excellency, this is why it is called politics. Mm -hmm. hmm? Uh, forget about your deputy governor. You know he doesn't have NYC certificate. What he presented the last time was fake. So the only thing I have to do is to leak that aspect of his life to the press and, and you know, let him contend with it. As for Dr. Spiff, he's my boy. I'll talk to him. Okay, Chief. That settles it then. That is it. Who am I to say no when you request for me to do anything for you? Thank you, Your Excellency. That's no problem, my chief. Yes. That's no problem. Yeah, so we go and join the rest at the garden. Yes. <laughs> thank you, chief. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Hi. Mm. 
Is it true that you gave the church 100 million naira? Yes, I did. And how come we didn't discuss about it? Wait, I don't, I don't understand. Why do I have to tell you about it? Because we are living under the same roof. I don't understand why I have to hear from an outsider that my wife gave a whooping sum of 100 million naira to the church. If you must know, yeah. Dr. Itodo from the opposition party was going to be at the event. Yeah. That he said, whatever he gives, I should double it. So he gave 50 million and I doubled it. I gave 100. What I'm saying is, we are in this marriage together. It's about you and I. And your father intrusion is becoming annoying and disrespectful. Excuse you! My father wants me to be successful just the way he is. Do you have a problem with me being successful? What kind of question is that? What kind of question are you asking me? I am simply saying that I should be aware of what goes on under my roof. It is not your money. You have no say with what I give out. It's not your money. Why are you stressing me out? Okay. Hmm. Dude, this wine is good. Mm. Hi. Very good wine. That is why I always like to come around you. <laughs> Everything around you seems to be very special. But we are special people, now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> My chairman. Hey, Pedro. Welcome. <laughs> uh, so, uh, chairman, I, I want everybody's support on this. <laughs> Look, Pedro, mm. it is not an exaggeration if I say that this, our great party, belongs to you hmm, and there is nothing there is nothing you can ask us and we refuse thank you thank you very much even i'm making a reservation to pick your daughter amanda as the next gubernatorial candidate for this our party mpp come the next election but I have some reservations on her experiences to carry such a high capacity job. My chairman, well, um, let me tell you that my daughter has cognitive experience on the job. Hmm? My daughter has experience on the job. Don't forget that she's a graduate of Harvard University. Mm -hmm. And she had a brief stint with the World Bank before she came down to take charge of my conglomerate. Mm -hmm. My daughter does economics and they are all good managers. Mm -hmm. Chief. Yes. It is true. Your daughter has an impeccable credential. Thank you. That's... Even at times, I've discussed with her severally. Mm -hmm. She is an extraordinary intelligent person. Thank you. But I still make reservations on her practical experiences. Now, let me tell you, my chairman. You see, all over the world, the clamor is for change. Change from the old ways of doing things to new ways of doing things. Change from old men tired men, dead woods in government, to younger people who are more vibrant and creative. My daughter is just 35 years of age, Harvard graduate in economics. She is best suited for governor of the state. That's why I am, you know, bringing her up. And don't forget that I'm here to support her. I can spend a trillion dollars to make her the governor of the state. Chief Pedro, yes. you have just spoken my heart. I wanted to count on your support. Yeah. But since you have said you will support us, yeah. let her go. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> she will go, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I want from you. He's settled.
Hi. Hi. Oh, you are here already? Yes, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, you said you wanted to see me. Yes. Um, the executive governor of the state. Okay. The party chairman. In fact, all the members of the executive council have all agreed to support your bid for the membership. Wow, Daddy, that is great news. It is. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> My special attorney, your excellency, <laughs> the first female governor to be elected in Nigeria. Hi, your husband. He's fine. How are you? How is yours? I'm fine. Very well. It's fine. Well, you know, when you told me you were cutting short to me, I knew it was something. Imagine. Oh, I can't wait for that. Me too. You know, the state governor, the mm -hmm. top wigs, everyone is throwing their weight behind me. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, that's good news. I know. And your mother would be so proud of you wherever she is. Mm, I know. No, that's exactly what my father said. Yeah. Um, and you know, you don't need to get pregnant now you don't need to start making babies now yes because campaign will start anytime soon and you know how stressful campaigns can be so you don't need to stress yourself with pregnancy I don't like it. Will my husband agree he has no choice in order for you to be up and doing baby girl you don't need pregnancy now I, I don't know no you don't need it just talk to me how are you? I'm good. Look at you. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's great. I'm excited. A bit, you know. I'm more excited. For the task ahead, but we can do it. Are we going to? Babe. I've really missed you, my guy. I've missed you too. Election campaigns are commencing in five months. Mm -hmm. I need to be fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't expect me wobbling around with pregnancy. And how many times do I have to tell you that I am an only son and that we need to start making babies in this marriage as soon as possible? You have to wait. Till when? Well, after I win my governorship election, or maybe after my first four years in office. <laughs> you are not serious, are you? I am serious. Hey, Christy, 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 baby. Let me see, Christy, food, don't do it. Don't finish the food. Which food? See here, John. Our guy said he's about to go out. That you should quickly wash his car before he comes out. Wait, 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 wait. I should come out. I see see me so. What can I do? She is see me, they wash Madame car. I want to make I leave Madame car on the way or halfway. Can't drop on top of Oga on the wash and bar. You know, possible. Just enter inside that house, tell Oga, say, making get patience until I wash my mother and can finish it. Then I will feel attend to his own. Yeah. Really? Yes. Eh? Uh, hmm. You and I know who Oga is. By the time he comes out of that house and this car is not ready, he will be very angry with you. John, he's about to go out. Too. You see me, oh? What do you concern me? You see, if you forgot one verse, make him verse. If you want verse, pull this house, make him verse, pull them. What do you consign me? You see, as you see me so eh, I no go ever leave my madam car. Come go the washing own car. After all, no beam or guy, they pay me my salary. Now my madam, my original madam, they pay my salary. Yeah? John, see the way your mouth is running up and down. When Oga comes out here, you tell him by yourself all these things you said. You say it to Oga. I don't come on. Before he go come out, help me pass the message to him as they go inside. Say I see B. Hey, you see, make sure I save my food. Don't enter my room before I go finish washing this car. Yeah, yeah. Hello. 
Hmm? I'll be going to Canada in two days' time. From there, I go to the US. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Yeah, there's some people I need to go see um, and have some discussions with them. Hmm. I need to show our party that I can bring foreign investment to our, to our state. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, one sec. <sighs> Dad. Hi, Dad. Yeah, uh, Amanda. Please come and see me immediately. Oh, okay. I'll see you soon. All right, Daddy. Yes, and as you come, just get ready to go to Abuja to present me in a meeting with the Vice President. Please come quick. Thank you. Bye. Honey, I'll, I have to go see Dad, um, and I have to go to Abuja today. He said that I have to um, follow him to see the VP. You're going to Abuja today? Yes. I mean, this is not fair now. Hmm? I mean, we, we, are, we are a young couple. How are we going to take care of each other, love each other, if you keep flying around? Babe, I'm just going for some time. I'm not going to stay there forever. I'll be back. Tony, this is not fair. I don't like this at all. I'll be back, okay? Hmm? Jenny. No, I have not. So you don't want to lie? Hmm? Baby? Please eat so that you can reach your father. You said you were so it's okay. I love you. And you're not always around to show it. What's I do? John! John! Hey! Okay. La, good morning, sir. Have you washed my car? No, sir. Why? Sir, uh, I say make I just... Uh, make a, what I just nonsense get... are you talking about? Didn't Christiana give you my message? Sir, she, she told me... She, 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 she does. She tell you me... You shut up! Next time I drive out of this house with a dirty car, you will get what is coming for you. My friend, go and open the gate for me. Sorry, sir. Okay, sir. Nonsense. Sorry, sir. Dad. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I was wondering what was taking you. Oh, sorry. Slight traffic. How are you doing today? As you can see, I'm as fit as the eagle. Dad, you're becoming addicted to red wine. Oh, red wine. This is the best beverage after water. It's not. Water is the best beverage. Yes, after For water. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there's something that I haven't told you about politics. Okay. And um, that is uh, pregnancy and childbirth. You know. Dad, I know where you're going. I am not getting pregnant until I win this election. Okay? You know already. Of course. That's the <laughs> Yes. Now, let me tell you what you are supposed to do in the job. When you go to a hotel, okay. go to Nikon and the hotel. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, my papa. You're welcome. So, you were sounding... It's my wife. Amanda... Amanda said that she will not get pregnant. Why? Because of what I told you now, a uh, gubernatorial election thing. Well, she would have waited uh, 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 after childbirth before going in for that office. Exactly what I told her. But she said no, that her father wanted it immediately, that they have an upper hand, that they can grab it now, that they want it now. And, uh, have you spoken to the father about it? Why would I? I mean, why should I? I have not. It, he did not tell me that, okay, this is what I want your wife to do. In fact, he was the one that called Amanda to cut short our honeymoon in Dubai and instructed her to come back to Nigeria the time she did. Come on. That was totally wrong. 
you see his intrusion in our marriage is becoming so annoying and i'm beginning to lose respect for him oh. i understand it's this is one thing you get you know when you are married to one of these rich people's daughter see most of the time they want to control the affairs of your home and i don't get it oh, so no i i understand how you feel about I think you should try to convince Amanda to get pregnant. She's your wife. <laughs> Amanda, see it in this race. <laughs> so look, say goodbye to Childress until after four years ten. It just it just came to me like a flash cloud. Pa like this. After four years, that, that's why you should be expecting anything pregnancy or childbirth. And you know what it is? You're not getting any younger. Yes, Nancy. I'm in trouble. They're after me. Mr. Deputy Governor, what are you talking about? Who is after you? My enemy. My political enemies. How? Yes, Nancy. Take a look. Just take a look. Did this get to the press? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God. This is not good. Who would have done this? Hmm? This is not good. This certainly will mar your political ambition. But yes, yes. What do you suggest I do? <sighs> this is tough. I think you should see Chief Pedro. You know, there is nothing he cannot fix. Hmm? Ah, if you say so. Thank you, Your Excellency. <sighs> Mr. Deputy Governor. Yes, Chief. Your enemies have succeeded in grabbing you by the balls. I think that's why they published in a very small newspaper, local newspaper. Now they await your response. If you make any more noise, they will now break the box. Hmm. Oh my God. Chief, what do I do now? I don't want this thing to be exposed. This is what you are going to do. I want you to keep a low profile for now. No political contest, no drama. Don't even grant any interview on this matter. Did you get that? Yes. Have you not heard? Hear yeah, waiting. You see, the kind of story we want to hear from your mouth. Mm. Now the kind of soup and food we cook here and the kind of meat where they put for me. Now I want to hear from you. Mm. Yes. Uh-uh. Have you not heard that our madam will be the next governor of the state? <laughs> hey, God, wait till I do this girl. You go do day for this house when they come out anywhere. They hear information. Eh? Who tell you? See, I heard it. I heard Oga and madam discussing it this morning inside your room. I am not telling you lies. I am telling you the truth. Wait, wait. Wait till they discuss us. Wait till they talk. Oga said, Madam should not contest, but Madam insists that she must contest. Hi, John, come and see arguments. Hey, what is the worry, Oga? See that, Oga? Mm. I know, don't understand that. Sometimes I just feel like I say, Oga, a witch to a Madam. Hang on every time you go one carry sand, sand, pull for Madam, Gary. Precious Gary. Gary, bend there. 
John, why are you suddenly angry? Why not confess? No, tell me why. Why not confess? In fact, it be me that say make her cry now. Ah, you know, no say if Madame mm. become the governor of this state, mm. hey, ne, our 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 level go grow. You see, as they carry white envelope, the poor salary. Now this big brown envelope. Now they go take the poor salary. How do you know that? Maybe when they leave it, uh, governor now, they go behave like 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 governor now. Uh -uh. You know no before. Mm -mm. Uh, they there now. They tell me. Uh. Good morning, Her Excellency. Good day, ma. So, as I was saying, I am going to make uh, money available to three of you. You and uh, Dr. Uti and uh, Barista Don. Okay. You are going to buy governorship forms. Okay. You will buy in our party and you will buy in their various parties too okay. to contest for the governorship election. Yeah, but Chief, I, I think your daughter is contesting under the platform of our party. Yes, yes. This is the game plan. The game plan is that you all will buy your forms in your various parties and um, campaign for the governorship uh, position. But when the primaries is around the corner, you now announce your step down oh, we step and down. urge your supporters to vote for my daughter. Okay, this is really a game plan. Exactly. All right, Chief, you see, um, in this situation, it is said that he who pays the piper dictates the tune. Exactly. Whatever you tell us to do, we do it. As far as we are going to supply money in abundance for the campaigns. Forget about the money. Money, oh. is, not, money is not a problem. This is great. Yeah. Okay, we are going to do it. Yes, yes. yes. We are going so to that's the way it's going to work. I've spoken to, to Don, Mr. Don, okay. and Uti. So I said I should call you privately yes. and tell you. Very you, simple. you know I'm a very simple man. I know. Don't supply us money enough. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> that is the bottom line. Yes. Okay. We need support of that. Yes. <laughs> no, no. This, this, this is quite a surprise. You didn't even see me coming. Yes, I don't want to pay you. Okay, I want to take you by some. You obviously did. Person who I'm I'm doing the risk. No, that's why I'm here to find out. Actually, I came to see your wife, my daughter, in order to find out something. What? Ah, is it true that you are planning to run for the membership election? Oh yes, my mom is. Yes, no, um, I've been on this relationship. Yeah, but she can listen to you because you are her husband here. Yes, she listens. We, we are fine. Mm. Oh, really? I almost forgot. Please hurry up, people are there waiting for you. You're not supposed to walk out on a mother like that. I wouldn't do that to your parent. Oh, so impossible. Stop, stop sounding like I am being impossible and trying to make a mountain out of a moon. You are making a mountain out of a moon here. I was, I was talking to your mom. Go ahead and meet and I excuse myself respectfully. I don't care if you're contesting for the president of the whole world, but I want to keep everything aside. You are going to get pregnant today. Yes, because I'm tired of this. 
Are you a comedian? First of all, I am not having sex with you again until after the election. Let's see how you're going to get me pregnant like that. Shh. Is that what you are saying? That's how you want it. Okay. <laughs> okay. First, you go have to be mother. Second, you come back. Look at the time you are coming back. You are a member of the family. Just go there and fix yourself a drink. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. I, <laughs> I will do that some other time, sir. Mm. Okay. No, no, I don't want to drink, sir. What is it you want to see me for? Sir, uh, it's about my wife, Amanda. Amanda? Yes, sir. What about her? Sir... Amanda has been denying me of my conjugal rights lately. Can you elaborate on that? Just make me understand. Sir, Amanda has... She has stopped me from sleeping with her. And I'm just wondering how we are going to you know, make babies if we don't make love. Uh, and, and, I'm, I'm just wondering, sir. Solomon. Didn't your wife tell you? Don't you know that your wife is running for the office of the governor of the state? I am aware of that, sir. Good. And uh, do you want your wife to be pregnant while the electioneering campaigns are going on. You know how these things happen? From one rally to the other, electioneering from one spot to the other, with pregnancy, wouldn't that be endangering the life of your wife? But sir, I need a child. We need a child. Solomon, children will come. Why don't you be patient with your wife? Let her win this election. You will have all the babies you need. But, sir, so, you, sir, just go home and be patient. Yes, sir. Be patient. Children will come. Okay, sir. All right, sir, I'll be on my way. Okay, this one is complete. So when am I getting the other one? Um, maybe later on. Okay. The thing is that the meeting you had with your father-in-law, how far? <sighs> Nothing positive. How? It is actually clear now that Chief Pedro places more premium attention and interest to fame and power much more than wanting to have a grandchildren. That is really bad. I, I think you shouldn't allow Amanda to win this election. That's if, if you want to have a child from her soon. <laughs> but why would I do that? I am not an enemy of progress. Besides, I, 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 I actually support her dream, but this is, this is too much. I, I, right now, I, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm I understand. See, the, it's not about being an enemy of progress. We are talking about the fruit of your loins, your own child. Very important. So, I, see, okay, it's not something you just jump into. I think we really need to plan about it. There must be a way out of this. 
Come on. The thing is, I relax. We will we'll talk. Um, I'm sorry, Chief. I'm not stepping down. Are you for real? Not to speak. Chief, I'm for real. Don't forget that you are a commissioner today. It's because of my benevolence. I nominated seven of you single handedly to be commissioners. The rest are loyal. Why is your own different? I appreciate what you have done for me. But my word is my bond. I'm not stepping down for anybody for this governorship race. Very well then. Very well. Have a nice day. Oh, Dr. James Smith. Really, human beings are unpredictable. Having given you money to purchase the form for the governorship and declare along with you, you step down for my daughter. Now you don't want to do that again. It's all right. Hugo is going to deal with you. That's not what I promise. Hello? Hugo? Yes. I, I want you to pick up any debt that you have about Dr. James Smith. Any debt you have and run this scandal. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. PM already. Is this the first time I'm going out at night? I guess you'll be staying over there. Yes, I'm going with Dad. We're having a meeting at Sheraton. I'm hoping that we would not need to have another argument concerning uh, traveling to the village next week. For what? Have you forgotten we're going for the burial of my uncle? Oh, yes. Uh, what day is it again? It's Friday next week. But we should be leaving by Thursday so that we wouldn't have to stress ourselves the day. Honey, I I'm sorry. I won't be able to go with you again. You see, Daddy is one of the dignitaries that will be welcoming the Vice President of Japan. I just And he wanted... I just knew this was going to happen. I'm sorry. No, oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll go and welcome the president of Japan, of GP Japan. Don't worry, I'll go and bury my, my uncle. Oh, no, for this bed now. No, it's fine. No wife to welcome me back from work. My friends are going back home to meet their wives. But here I am, alone, in an empty house. And I just got married. And the saddest part of this whole thing is that I don't even know when I will start making babies. This is certainly not the kind of marriage I bargained for. I love Amanda so much and that's why I married her. But I never knew that. You're welcome, sir. Christiana, how are you? No, thank you, sir. Is my wife back? Not yet, sir. Is the dinner ready? Yes, sir. Thank you.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. They're here to protect us. Protect us? Yes. Because of my new political status, Daddy thought that it was okay for us to have, you know, protection. Daddy? Hmm? Yes. Oh, and he said I should tell you that when you're going to work, you must have at least two police escorts. And um, all this decision was taken without my impute? <laughs> Your impute? What impute do you have? You know, I... I'm looking at this whole thing. I'm being silent about so many things. But you know, your father dictating how we should live in our marriage is, is beginning to annoy. He's destroying our marriage and this nonsense has to stop. Ah, uh -uh, no, don't you dare actually insult my father. You put my father and nonsense in the same statement. Are you mad? Do you know who my father is? Sometimes I'll begin to wonder how... I mean, the essence of your degree because you don't see life beyond your father. You must be very stupid. What is wrong with you? You're trying to slap me? Yes, I will slap you because you are very stupid. Oh, you want me to actually tell those police people to actually lock you up? Are you mad? I think you're insane. You are a foolish There's person. There's something wrong with you. You, you. you are very, very stupid. Exactly no, no, there's something trying, wrong with you. You're I'm... trying to make me batter a woman. No, you, can, you, you, can, you cannot even dare to touch me because you would die in jail. <laughs> Your family will find you and they will not see you. Just, just step out of my way. Oh, push me. Yeah, so step aside. Mm, Solomon. Solomon! So I do not have a say anymore in you this house. You have no say! I mean, this is not my father's house! Are you mad? God, look, at, look at this broker's idiot that I picked from, from the gutters! Sorry, what are you doing? We are instructed to follow you anywhere you are going to. Oh no, thank you very much. I don't need any escort. My wife is the one that should concern me. Thank you. Thank you. Solomon, sir, as I saw you at the mall earlier today without the security man I provided, why are you not using them? Oh, first of all, Chief, I would like to say thank you for the security personnel, but I can handle myself. I don't need any escort. Look, Solomon, those escorts are not for aesthetics. Okay. I want you to know that my daughter now has powerful political enemies and if they can't get at her they will come after you so you don't have to make yourself vulnerable to attacks eh? I don't want my daughter's chances of becoming the next governor of the state to be affected in any way simply because you refuse to take precautions alright chief um, I've heard you yes please do it is very very important and you start seeing yourself as the husband of the next governor to be of the state mm? Mm. and see yourself as a member of the first family of the state that is going to help you okay sir good thank you sir uh let me get you, get you something uh, yes let's get something to drink if it's a wine or something honestly 
I still do not understand what makes Chief to think that he has right to control what happened in my marriage. I no longer have a say in my own house because he practically dictates every single thing that happens in my marriage. Okay, maybe because, maybe because I allowed myself to move into the apartment built by his daughter. Maybe that, or maybe I should have insisted that we move into my own rented apartment because I, I'm seriously confused with this whole thing. Lamentation. 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 <laughs> See, Solo, I, I hate to say I told you so, but I will still say it. I told you so. It is very wrong for a man to move into an apartment built by his wife. Very, very wrong. It's like you don't understand what is going on. Okay. The father is the problem. Amanda's father, Chief Pedro, is the problem I am having in my marriage. Take away the father. I and Amanda, we are cool. Every single misunderstanding, every issue that we have had, you will see Chief Pedro in the midst of it. It's not like I'm, I, 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 I'm not having a few days with my wife or... The father is the problem. Amanda practically sees him as her idol. She practically worships the very ground that he walks on. Okay. I wish I knew what to say to you. I don't want to sound like I'm being negative, but... You just have to be patient with her. You know, you guys just got married. Patient. I want to have a child. I want to have children. And my wife is not ready for childbirth. And you are telling me to have patience. And what are you going to do? Like, are you going to blow the child into the womb? Like, just like that. Uh, 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 hello. Hello. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you. Luciano? When did my wife leave this house? Um, she left for the airport around noon, sir. The airport? Did she tell you where she was traveling to? Yes, sir. She, she said she's traveling to London with her father. London? Yes, sir. What is going on here? No, why do I have to be the last person to know what is going on in my house? No, why would she travel without telling me? What kind of rubbish is this? Uh, get me a bottle of whiskey and bring it to yeah. you. Okay, yes, come in. Come in. Something I'm doing. It's okay. 
This is my house. Mm-hmm. And whatever you're doing, you do it for me. Or else. So I want you to get out. And I told you that you're beautiful. You didn't want to thank you. Um. Thank you, sir. Don't be scared. I'm going to let you. Christiana? Sir? You didn't tell me about your night. My night was fine, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you for last night. Christiana. This is for you. Now you be careful with that. That is a phone of one hundred and fifty thousand naira. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Christiana? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank Christiana. Sir. I'm hungry. I know, sir, and that's why I'm preparing something. Oh, okay, you're preparing something? Yes, sir. Yes, but I'm hungry, but I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm like hungry, hungry. I know, sir. What was that about, Christiana? It's my dad. She's back? Yes, sir, she's back. Hi. Amanda, come back here. What is it? I said come back here. Where are you coming from? I went to the UK. You went to where? London. You went to London and you spent over a week without telling me? Don't you know that you're married? Don't you know that I am your husband? What are you talking about? I went to the UK with my father. I've been going to the UK before I even met I you. I don't care if you've been traveling to UK before you were born. If you're going to marry and stay married to me, you are going to take permission from me before you travel to anywhere within or outside this country. Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I don't care who the bloody hell you think I'm talking to. I am the head of this home. I. My word is final. Your word doesn't mean shit. I do whatever I like. When I like it. How I like it. Okay. Rubbish. Let me see you leave this house without my permission oh, next time. No, let me see you leave this house. Nonsense. I'm not feeling too well. You're not feeling too well? Yes, ma. What is wrong with you? I really don't know, but I think it's malaria. Ah. Yes, ma. Okay, I gave you money yesterday, Abby. Yes, um, Just take the, uh, some money out of it and go to the hospital. You know our family hospital? Okay, yes, go there and, and him treat you. Go Pops hospital. Yes, okay. just go. 
Okay. When did we discuss it? Please, I don't have strength for argument. What do you mean you I'll don't have? I'll talk to you when I get back. Christiana. So, uh, You're not feeling well and you didn't tell me. Sorry, sir. Go and dress up. Let me take you to the hospital. Hurry up. Okay, sir. King uh, David the Great. <laughs> solo, solo, the wisest king. Please sit. Uh, You're just the you. right person I want to see. Uh -oh. I need something from you urgently. <laughs> I hope you don't be too careful. <laughs> what is it? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I need a sweet apartment in a nice environment. You're actually in the right office. That's my job. That's why I'm talking to you. So can I get it? Sure, you can. Uh, like, what do you actually need? You know I'm building, so I need something not too um, bogus. I just want something that would um, uh, would be nice for some period of time. So, what do you have? Okay, I have uh, a three-bedroom flat and a duplex at Global Estate. Global Estate. Yeah. Oh, the three-bedroom flat is like 1.5 million now. Yeah. But wait. Uh, Hello, I've been answering you. Are you packing out of your house? My brother, forget about personal issues. We are talking about business. Let's go and check it out. Um, what's my... Uh, let's, let's just go. Let's just go right away. Okay. Let's go, let's go. And um, how about uh, the other... But not as beautiful as you are. Alright, pick your bag. Let me take you inside. Sure. Hi, doctor. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, I just got in from Abuja. Yes, I told my maid to come see you. She said that she was not feeling fine. Exactly. Your husband brought her here this morning. Yes, we ran some tests on her and uh, found out that she is pregnant. Did you say she's pregnant? Yes, yeah, she's about two weeks pregnant. Doctor, I will call you back. Yes, I'll talk to you later. It's all right. It's all right. Please. Driver, please move this car. Chris called me to tell me that she's pregnant. Oh, really? I am going to kill her. Oh, actually, it's confirmed that she's very well pregnant. Not in my house. Oh, no, no, no. She's not in your house anymore. Where is she? Oh, so she got pregnant and she ran out. Oh, no, no, no. Abby? No, 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 no. She didn't run out. I actually got her a better place to stay. Honey, why would you do that? Uh, why would I do what? 
Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. You're not aware. She's actually pregnant for me. You see? I, I, I say that Christiana is pregnant for me. Your housemate. She's carrying my child. You dare not try that. What is wrong with you? I'm actually waiting for you so that I can tell it to your face. My lawyer will serve you the divorce papers. And um, you are invited for our wedding. Yeah, you're invited for our wedding in case you want to come. I, I am a Christian. I will be getting married. And um, uh, I think there's something else. Oh, yes. You can have a beautiful time running your political bullshit. You have a nice life with your political bullshit. To me after everything I've done for him. Amanda, just forget about Solomon. Amanda, just forget about Solomon and your maid. Let's channel our energy to the forthcoming primary election. He impregnated my maid. He still had the guts to divorce me at this crucial time. Amanda. That idiot is not what a drop of tears from you. A fool that descended so low to sleep with your house help. Amanda, that guy is not what a drop of tears from you. As far as I'm concerned, he's a big, a filthy one at that. So he belongs to the gutters. My maid, the girl I brought from the village. A common maid. Took my husband. Amanda, you need to stop doing this to yourself. You're going to be the next governor of this state. So I think you should forget about Solomon. Let us concentrate on the forthcoming primary elections. Just forget about them. It's okay. Hmm? You don't need to cry. Just forget about Solomon. Forget it. Forget it, Amanda. Just... Yes, Solomon. So this is how you are. Eh? This is your true color. Solomon, do you know that you are a fool? You are a nickel fool. So this, this is how you are. You had the temerity to impregnate your your house girl, my daughter's house girl. Look at some, look at you that I'm trying to help. I'm trying to bring up your status in the society. And this is how you have to pay me back. You are a swine. Let me tell you, you are going to pay dearly for this. I must make sure I deal with you decisively. Idiot. Fool. Don't worry. No, I will, I will catch up with you. Idiot. Nonsense. Look at you, you're a notorious good. You're a criminal. And I will treat you as such. Don't worry, wait for me. I'm coming for you. Idiot. Baby, please, um, can you prepare me uh, oha soup with pounded yam? What? You've already prepared it. <laughs> Maybe I will join you. I'm waiting for Dave. Yes, we're supposed to have some short meat. Yes. Okay, okay. Don't prepare for two. He's not coming home with me. Just my friend. Thank you. Thank you, darling. I love you. Mwah! <laughs> Chief Pedro, <clears throat> the decision was very hard for the party to make, but we made it. The party interest supersedes any other interest. The party's caucus have decided that your daughter will no longer be our flag bearer in this coming election. 
and uh, we have decided to withdraw our support for her to win the primaries. Even we are considered to disqualify her from the race. Yes, we are going to disqualify her from the race. But her case is not irredeemable. We can still, there's still plenty of time for us to revalidate her candidacy. <laughs> the situation is bad. And you know it. If we will allow your daughter to be our flag bearer, we will be committing a political suicide. And our openness will capitalize on that to bring us to the cleaners. Somebody can manage her home. You can manage it. You see? Don't say that. She's the one managing my business, after all. She can manage her home. It's just in this point, we are talking about politics, not in business. In business, you can put somebody who can manage your business, not in politics. You see? And not that alone. Her scandal is unheard of. You see? Her husband raped the maid, divorced her. Went back to marry the maid. Probably that we're supposed to look for someone who has a good conduct. Yes. We need to look somebody in that capacity. Somebody who can sell. So how are you feeling now? Okay. That's okay. Um, I have been thinking lately about something very serious. What um, I think uh, you should uh, withdraw from the race. God. Yes. Withdraw? Yes. But Chief, she has gone too far to step down. Look, my dear, I know what I am talking about. I don't want my daughter to suffer any more humiliations at the polls. I know what, you know, humiliation at the polls will do to her psyche at this particular time. Mm -hmm. So I think the best thing is for you to withdraw honorably at this point instead of going through that defeat and shame. You know how the doctors battle to bring down your lips. I think the best thing is to withdraw honorably. Take a trip abroad. Go to somewhere very quiet and have some rest. Hmm? Amanda has finally withdrawn from the gubernatorial race, guy. Uh, what's my business with that? Um, is that what you were so excited about telling me? Yeah, I'm sorry, I thought that might interest you. Oh. I'm sorry, bondage does not interest me. Well, that is me. Um, darling, can you get us a bottle of wine and some glasses? I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> so, my brother. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. All of a sudden, you want us to drink. Uh -uh. Don't we share drinks in my house? Or is there now a time for both of us to drink? Or I don't have right to drink in my own house whenever I want? Is that what you're saying? Mm. There we go. Okay. What are we drinking to? Well, I don't know what you are drinking to, but my wife and I, we are drinking, always celebrating blissful marriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please pour drinks for him. No. Okay. Um, you know we have some meat and fish mm -hmm. in the fridge. Yeah. Let's go. You know, microwave some for him. He's always hungry. Are you hungry? My name. That's actually my name. <laughs> 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 Come on. 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 Come on.
It's okay now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My brother, save, save, save. Uh, what, what's up now? Um, the contract. Were you able to get it? Actually, I did. <laughs> oh Congratulations! And you say you don't have nothing to drink to. Let, let's let's chest it out um, to a successful mm, contract. <laughs> you're really enjoying it. This your new marriage, guy. My brother. In every marriage, primarily, most men are looking for peace, mm. love, mm -hmm. and respect from their woman. And I tell you what, I have that and more from this beautiful lady that just walked in. <laughs> what is to that? <laughs> you see, all oh, those while you've been in bondage, I, 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 I never knew you had this meaty cheek like <laughs> my brother. I cannot look like this and i can see my <laughs> cheek puffing out <laughs> i'm eating good food hey i'm not eating yeah. stale food or I junk food guy. anymore eating good food Christ. man Are you all right nothing like freedom freedom peace love and prayer of a woman that loves you 